Hi, Tabera. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, so to start off the panel, I wanted to do maybe a this or that uh, mm -hmm. food edition because who doesn't love food? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give you two options and then you're going to tell me which one you would like just not to have now, just just like. Okay. Yeah. Pizza or pasta? Ooh, pizza. Cupcakes or cookies? Cookies. Ice cream or froyo? Froyo. Mexican food or Chinese food? Mexican. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Savory or sweet? Sweet. Nutella or peanut butter? Nutella. <laughs> and breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Breakfast any time of the day, honestly. <laughs> um, so I wanted to dive in and ask right off the bat, how has it been, you know, being back on set? Uh, it was honestly, they're amazing. It's like, welcome back to the family kind of deal. So it's like when you haven't seen a friend in a really long time, you just kind of pick up where you left off. That's what it, that's what it really feels like. Um, and yeah, that's how, that's how it felt. Like, you know, I, I got to do some really good dinners with some cast members and then we went to a hockey game and, you know, seeing everyone in the gym was fun. Like Tim fully looks homeless when he's not in Winona Earth. <laughs> I was like, who's that homeless? Oh, that's Tim. That's Tim. He looks like an 80s retro homeless guy because he wears like this headband yeah it's the best <laughs> so um it was right when covid right before the shutdown so we were able to like do some normal things like go to the gym um but it's yeah it's been it was it, it's just like you know the cast and the crew are they're so tight knit and everyone is like no drama, like just get the work done. Very gracious. Everyone is just thankful that there's like a fourth season. So no one's complaining about how cold it is. Well, people are complaining, but <laughs> it's all good, you know? <laughs> how yeah. cold was it when you were filming? Cause you had that nice thick looking coat on. Yes, I did have a nice thick, y'all I was pregnant too. So they kind of covered it at, um, but now can I have to stop having babies? <laughs> um, but what, can I see everybody? Where's everybody? Is there a way to see everybody or no? See like the chat you mean? Yeah. Like I, I think the chat is separately. Um, if people are like talking, I know this. So it says participate. I know that sucks. I can't see like who's in it who's well it's just us in the zoom call ourselves and then they i believe they have a separate chat oh, i have i have fan I questions just in case yeah yeah, yeah. i'm like i want to see the fans i don't see if someone's knocking at the door can you guys just what's happening okay. <laughs> okay, one second sorry I love you all. I am so sorry. I had to give my husband milk for my <laughs> only after going to the bathroom. I can only pump for four minutes. So I'm like sitting there. I'm like, come on, get out. So then I can like <laughs> women do the craziest things. That's all I have to say. Like, uh, um anyway, can you even hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> can hear everything no that was that's one of my biggest fears like because everything's at home now and I was like I hope no one comes to my door I hope no one asks for anything while I'm doing this and then yeah. it happened to you yep of course it does <laughs> <laughs> the setup I made sure everything is like good but I had I had to give my husband milk yeah it happens you know what do you um, I was gonna ask 
if you were pregnant during the filming of that, were you pregnant during the fight scene that you guys filmed? Mm -hmm. Cause that was a badass fight scene. Yeah, uh, I was, but I mean like, you're not disabled. You're yeah, pregnant. yeah, true. Like I'm a very active person. So like, I definitely couldn't do certain things mm -hmm. that I would have been able to do given the circumstances. But their, their team, the stunt team is like so amazing. So it's, um, yeah, it's been really, it, it, it was such a great experience. Like the fight scene was really funny. We, we, we practiced the night before mm -hmm. and um, yeah, Mel and I just laughed so hard. <laughs> I bet there were so many like one-liners. There were so many great moments just in that fight alone. I don't yeah. think I would have been able to do it without laughing the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh we had we had we had our moments, which was really cool. And I wanted to ask, what do you love most about your character? Um I well, I love that she has a great sorry, I'm I'm running nose, no COVID here, guys, I swear. <laughs> um I really love that she has a good heart. Like she, her honesty and integrity, like, yeah, when you fuck up, you fuck up, but then it takes like a big person to come back and be like, hey, listen, like I almost sold your baby to the Clintons. Like that's a big thing. Like that's, I think it takes a lot to, and no one ever does it really. Like you tell a lie and then you're like, oh God, can I fess up? Like, can I, or you do something bad I think it takes like a really big person to do that. And that's mm -hmm. what I love about her character is she could have just left it alone. She could have just said like, not said anything and it wouldn't have gone anywhere and, and everything would have been happy, happily ever after kind of deal. But I think it was important for her to get it off her chest. And, and I think that takes a lot of courage. And I think I want to be more like that. You know, like, yeah, truth, no matter what. I like that about Rosita as well. Like she, she knew that she was probably going to get in deeper, like with Winona hating her, but she was like, I have to tell the truth because this is just who I am. Yeah. And that's honorable. Yeah. yeah I really like that. Great that she has. And what do you hope she does next now that, you know, she's at the nunnery or <laughs> she's at the church with all those women? Um, she's just gonna live her life, man. <laughs> no, so I, uh, there, I think I was supposed to come back for another episode, but we went into full shutdown mode. So yeah. I have to do a lot of, I guess, rewriting and stuff like that for, uh, for that. But it, um, it was definitely, yeah. What was your question? <laughs> About what you would like her to do next. Like oh, if, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like live with a bunch of women and frolic all day. <laughs> I like that. I can imagine her doing that frolicking and teaching yep. everybody her ways. Her ways, her ways, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I have a couple questions from your fans. Um, so at M the Erper asks thoughts on the ship Winzita. You and well, Winona and Rosita. What are your thoughts on that? I was really in shock when I saw that. I was like, what? Like, I'm like getting it on? I'm like, okay, maybe. I, <laughs> but I will say that they definitely have something. Like there's definitely like when you, when you see two actors on TV and there's, um, then it's not just chemistry, it's just energy between them. It's just like some sort of energy that works and that's how people stay captivated and stay watching. And, yeah. and I think that um, the writers and the creators of the show do such a good job of um, that. It happens organically and just picking picking the people, the right people for the part. And then it just like, and working with storylines, I, I really love how they incorporate like so much of our real life into it. So that makes it just that much more like bantery. What do you like, mean by like real life? Like just jokes like, that you guys uh, have? Yeah, like jokes like, um, 
you know, the vegan thing with um, with Dom. Yeah. We incorporated that. And then like Varun getting bigger, you know, it's like, oh my God. And he is like, he's like working out. And like, so they definitely incorporate a lot of like who we are as people, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And who you guys are is like amazing chemistry where everybody ships, where a lot of people ship Wanzita. I was yeah. looking through the questions for the panel and I was surprised. There were a lot of shippers asking like, what are Tamara's thoughts on this? So yeah, they're probably really, really happy that we're addressing yeah. the ship. Um, so I have another uh, fan question from Kachara's Moon. Uh, they ask, what does Rosita smell like if it smells so good for Winona? Mm, cherry blossoms. <laughs> I would have thought it would have been whiskey. A signature, she has a signature smell, which isn't the way she looks, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like the way she looks is like, you know, like smoky Tabasco, taba Tabasco like tobacco whiskey smell yeah. but the way she actually smells is like like cherry blossoms or like something that's just like wow like what is that smell I'm going to be writing this down for later when we talk with um Greg and Danny um yeah because I'm <laughs> gonna ask them the same thing yeah, I'm <laughs> like what do you smell like your smell right yeah so she would smell very like yeah, she would smell like cherries or like something, some sort of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another uh, fan question from Luther's Earth. They ask, what is one relationship between your character and another that you wish we got to see more of? Oh <sighs> my God. I want my, my, my initial reaction to that would have been, I think the more of the Tim, not the Tim, oh my God, the doc storyline. Mm -hmm. There was like history there, but then there was, there, it wasn't really explored. I think that one would have been cool. And the, um, I'm using real names, sorry guys. Um, yeah, Jeremy would have been really cool too. I find that their dynamic was really awesome. Um, I think that would have been cool to explore a little bit more. It would have. And I, I was wondering, what was Rosita doing on that rock for all that time? Because, I mean, I was thinking, weather's going to come around. That, you know, the, the, like, <laughs> she still looked amazing being in jail I think well, not in jail but like I feel like especially with this quarantining yeah the universe has sent everyone to their rooms yeah right like everyone you're going to literally so now I feel like that's what Rosita was doing during that whole time and I feel like I could relate to her being on that rock and coming to like uh an evolution of herself and a realization of uh, her strength and like other things that, you know, being honest and like changing, being different, being different than what she was. I feel like that a lot of that happened in her time. That, that's a timeout. It was a timeout. Yeah. She had to take like in her whole life, in her, I mean, her life is very long. Um, she's never taken, she's never been um, given a timeout. Like, totally. yeah. Like this is what and I feel like even with us as people in this in this crazy time that we're living we are go 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 and then now it's like no you have to stop yeah you have to like reevaluate your life and I feel like there was a lot of reevaluating on that rock that's, <laughs> no that's good no because I was thinking about what happened before the rock and I was thinking about how she was in a tough situation and she made a decision that, you know, made Winona like really, really angry at her. Uh, everything that would happen with Alice. What do you say to people that still haven't gotten past that part of what happened when it comes to your character? Uh, I say that it's hard to get past, yeah. you know? I mean, it's hard, it's hard to get past that when someone does you wrong 
or you see wrong being done, it's hard to get past that. So I can't expect people to like, just like, I, there's nothing really I could say that can make that better. It's just, yeah. they have to come to their own resolve or don't, yeah. you know, or don't. True. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was going to ask when you came back on set, what was your like most memorable moment besides the fight? What was your most memorable moment coming back to set? On or off? Either. Either. Um, I think my most memorable moment was going to the hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> because it happened right before shutdown. Mm-hmm. And like things were so normal. Yeah. It, it was like the day before things got, everything went into shutdown. Yeah. So we went to that hockey game and, the, and I haven't been to a live event like that in about a year. Like I used to always go to hockey games and stuff like that Um, in the past, hockey games or uh, basketball games. And it was like the first, and and I'm so happy that I appreciated it in the moment Mm -hmm. of the energy of the stadium. Yeah. That energy, like when you're in, um, when you're at a panel and everyone's in the panel and it's just like the energy in the room is so different. Yeah. I really appreciated being there and like being there with people that I really love and, and enjoying their company and then, and then feeling the energy in the room. And then like, yeah, it was just, it was just really cool to maybe it's just that's, that sticks out because I, we haven't done that in a really long time. I know I look at it and I'm just like, I'm so ready to go out. I'm ready to have fun. I'm ready to go to like, yeah. Go to concerts, go to, go to cons. <laughs> oh, yes. I like, I miss cons so much. And I'm like, I'm glad that conventions like this happen, especially for people that maybe could have, you know, never gone to a con themselves. Yeah. Um, so it really gives people an opportunity to participate. Um, ha- how has the experience been for you connecting with fans on this, you know, uh, on a digital platform like this, instead of being, you know, face to face? Yeah, this is my first time oh. doing uh, something like this. I'm very like touch and go when it comes to my Instagram. I'm hardly on Twitter. Yeah. And also touch and go with my Instagram because um, for my mental health yeah. and also for the health of my children, because I have to keep them alive and feed them. So if yes. I'm constantly on my phone and they require like children are like very feral, like they're very like, they require your full and immediate attention all the time. And they could tell when you're not paying attention and not being fully there. So <laughs> I've had to take a, a step back from, so I haven't been able to connect really. I haven't been able to really like, so this has been so cathartic for me too. Like it's been as much as you guys need it, I need it. Like as much as you guys enjoy and look forward to those conventions, I enjoy and look forward to those conventions because like I get to hug you guys and I get to like laugh and we get to have fun and we get to reconnect and see where we're at in life. And and we I haven't been able to do that. And like the last couple one-on-ones, I'm like, oh my God, like where have you been? What have you been up to? So it's been Aww, really- That's yeah. really sweet. I, I love it. That's really, really nice connecting with people like that because, you know, we need that sometimes. Well, we need that now more than ever. Yeah, never, yeah. And if we are, you know, pack animals and we do need to like connect. Like yeah. that's the whole reason why we're here. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to look for another fan question. Uh, let's see. Oh, one of my favorite ones. When will the Winsita wedding be? Who will pick up Alice from school and who will take her to the park? (laughs) Uh, I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I feel like it would be me. (laughs) It would be me picking her up from school and then it would be me taking her to the park. (laughs) I don't know. You're like, what would Winona be doing? She'd be out kicking ass. Taking names taking names, kicking ass, and divide and conquer, right? So it's like, all right, this is what you got to do. This is what I got to do. Let's go do it. (laughs) And I was going to ask, I I know everybody has decided to like 
pick up a hobby during quarantine or, or learn something? Has that been true for you as well during quarantine? Um, it, <laughs> I'm a creator. I'm a creator, right? So I yeah. created a human. <laughs> It's the biggest creation. It's like I um no, it's it it, it everyone it, I wish. I wish I could like I had more time when I wasn't in quarantine because they were in school. Yeah. But everyone's like, oh, I took up this, and I'm like, well, that's great. I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting here. No. I've been able to create with my children. I've been able to connect with my children. I've been able to really um appreciate. Um, the downtime, I yeah. find that I get FOMO. Like, I'm always like, what's that? What, what, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? And then finally, I had to take a step back and like, um, I did do a, actually, no, I'm lying. I did do a course called uh, The Science of Happiness, The Science mm -hmm. of Walking, and it's a Yale course on Coursera. I highly recommend this. It's one of the top courses at Yale, one of the top taken courses at Yale. And it's, um, it's just the science of happiness. Like what, what is it that make us, makes us happy, internally happy? And I took that course and it really opened up my eyes to my own happiness and what is it that makes me happy? And um, yeah, like you doing these workshops with like women workshops that I want to do and that I, I did, I just did one that's the power of visualization and manifestation. And then I, and then I, the next one I want to do is, uh, even before COVID, I wanted to do it and it's con it's, it's creation versus consumption. So like when we're really stressed out, we're constantly consuming, we're consuming our phones, we're consuming our, um, like buying things constantly we're consuming food or alcohol or like so what do we and, and it's just like trying to fill a hole so what are we doing because that same hole is what we use to create so what are we doing literally <laughs> yeah no 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 sorry uh, so what are we doing to create so it's um um it's creation versus consumption that's the next workshop i want to do and i might be doing it virtually yeah so everyone posted on if I'm going to be doing it um considering we might be going back into stage one stage two, well we are in stage two now we might be going back into stage one so it might be something look, that everyone can look forward to doing yeah from home and how we can make ourselves happier from home so I like that you've been doing that like I, I've just been doing like embroidery or some like crafting <laughs> stuff and you, you, uh, oh my god I, I I want to do that. Yeah, I did a um I did a Winona Earp one tacos are tasty um embroidery that I did um like last week and it's just that's been really really fun but you've been like improving your mind and your life and your happiness because that's your outlet. So what are you True. doing? What's your outlet? And that's and that's what I want to help people figure out is mm. like what's your outlet that isn't consumption. Yeah. That isn't consuming something. What is your outlet to get your mind off of everything that you are physically and tangibly creating or, you know, and I feel like it's, it, you probably really enjoy it. And like, you get like a really good satisfaction from it because you create yeah. it. True. Yeah. So talking about manifesting, what do you want to manifest for your career coming up? Um, oh my God. I know. Big question. Heavy stuff. Big question. <laughs> I think career wise, there might be a shift in my life that um, I'm kind of going through something where I'm not sure I want to give back more. Right. Okay. And I know that my, within my acting, I, I know that's what I do, but I also want to do more of that. So how can I do more of that? And that would be these workshops and um, you know, be taking some psychology courses and getting into psychology I don't know I don't know what it is but I think the future of my career involves definitely um serving others and I've always done that like as an actor you are of service uh you're a gesture you yeah. know in, uh, in your life and that's my calling and I know that is I just got to figure out another way of doing that yeah and uh we have a bit about two minutes left. What would you say to fans who might have, might be having a little bit of a hard time during quarantine? What do you say to them? 
there is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> um, I would say you're not alone. You know, we're all struggling and no matter how, where you, fall, where you think you fall on a totem pole of like, you know, the rock, for example, you know, like the rock is even struggling with, um, I talk about the rock because I love him. He's great. Um, but like, I feel like everyone is struggling and you're not alone in this. And it's like reaching out to people who, um, who are going through it. I think yeah. reaching you know, to your to your friends to your family leaning in to your um to that i think can really help you get through this um and it's helped me get through it like i had a breakdown yesterday about it because i'm in a car with three children in a four and a half covid line yeah. to get tested and it really this is the, the we're all being tested right now yeah all being tested right now so i feel like prayer is a big thing too is like you know prayer or um meditating and reaching out to and and having those conversations with, with like letting it out yeah okay thank you so much for talking with me today it was so fun and fun. just it was really nice just learning more about you and your character. And it's so nice that you've done this con and we hope that you do more in the future. Oh, me too. And if I have anything coming up, I'll be posting it with regards to the workshops and hopefully I'll see some familiar faces where we can do this again. Perfect. Yeah. And thank you everybody for watching. Thank, thank you guys. Bye.